go. This is Deontay DeBron from a while, the WBC heavyweight champion of the world. And I'd like to give a big shout out to CJ Goodfellow, Sports TV. Bomb Squad, baby. All right, man, make my little pre workout. But uh, they putting Deontay Wilder in. Uh, they putting Deontay Wilder and Robert Herlanius on pay per view. You know, they got to meet Wilder's uh, minimum, which is $20 million. You had Deontay Wilder made uh, undisputed. I heard it would have been $30 million minimum. All right. So check out the Box News playlist, Heavyweight Talk playlist. Thumbs up the video. Share the video. Subscribe to the channel. Next subscribe button is the bell icon button. Sorry, I'm multitasking, but I um, had the day off today because I had to go back and check up for a doctor. So you know how that go. But um, I ain't never heard of Planet Smooth. But they did at it. But let's talk about it, man. Do me a favor, jab that uh, like button, thumbs up, share video, subscribe to the channel, and subscribe button, hit the bell icon button, hit all, I hit this boy, I don't know, dead on the nose, bell icon button, that shit is good, the only thing about it is, I don't feel like it's doing its job as a fat burner, that's my opinion though, but, but I could be wrong, I've only been taking it for two weeks, I've been taking the uh, Tom Brady's uh, uh, protein shake, this is uh, a plant base. It's pretty fucking good. I mix it with some uh, oat milk smoothie. My favorite is strawberry banana. I'm gonna start doing coffee too, bro. But yeah, that time Brady shit is expensive, but it's good. Like my barber tell me, anything that's gonna be work, that's gonna be good, it's gonna be expensive. So you gotta remember all that. But nonetheless, bro, I thought it was a joke. But I, you know, remember they said I was telling y'all that they said they didn't have to move the money for Deontay Wilder. Remember I was telling y'all I was saying that. And that was one of the reasons that Wilder wasn't coming back. So they can find 20 million for Wilder, but not for Crawford and Spence. But I say that for later. But it's Wilder. They're gonna take care of their own. Uh, he brought a lot of money because of the pay-per-views he did and all that type of stuff. Um, this is still strong. It's good as hell. Though. It's in an orange little container. Got a uh, Emma. But uh, but yeah. So the Hellenius, they can make the money work with Hellenius. So yeah, they could make the money work with Hellenius. So if it was another top end opponent, they couldn't make that money work. That's why Shelly Finkel was talking about how if while if Anthony Joshua win or lose, they interested in making that fight now. And you y'all ain't even really know Al Heyman and Wilder were in the street. They've been beefing. And the start of the beef was when Al Heyman made him turn down at his own offer to go fight Anthony Joshua. Well, hold on. Well, they, Val Hamer been playing him from the beginning, to be honest. If y'all want to get into that history, but uh, but part of the part of the, well, the beef really, in my mind, the beef started when he didn't let Wilder be unified champion with Charles Martin. But they really start, I heard, having issues when um, when uh, they part by painting Garden City High School look pretty nice, but. Uh, when you know, well, Al Heyman didn't want Deontay Wilder rematch Tyson Fury, but you know, and somebody was telling me yesterday that everybody knows Tyson Fury cheated, but Deontay Wilder still went in and did it. So it was Wilder's decision to go in and do it. Now I heard the third fight too that uh, that uh, damn, I just what my train of thought in the third fight. It was something between him and Al Heyman. It just, it eluded my mind. But, um, uh, something about him and Al. Can't remember what it was. I'm trying to think. What was something between him and Al? And, well, how Al Heyman basically said when they got to the third fight that forget all the cheating accusations. Uh, don't say nothing. This was probably coming from Team Wilder. Don't say nothing. Uh, we got to get this, make sure the money right. Get the money, get the money, get the money. So, you know, Al Hayman was telling him not, not to, you know, say nothing and not to reveal the proof, which I never believe it was proof. Because he got proof, win, lose, draw, and I'm showing the proof. I never, I don't believe it was no proof. But that's my opinion on that because they never showed no proof. But we already knew Tyson Fury had a sketchy history, so come on. We already knew he had a sketchy history. That ain't, that ain't nothing new. We knew his history was sketchy. So they can say they can say what they want to say, 
right? But it started because he, well, Al didn't want him to rematch Tyson Fury. But Wilder really got mad at him, real spill, because he made him turn down that Joshua fight, that deal with the zone. And like I told you, he's reading the, he watched that live last night. Very informative. I mean, from front to back, it was a very informative live last night. You can listen to it on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Stitcher, Radio Public, uh, Spotify, Anchor, Amazon Music, Google Podcasts, back up and running. Shout out to them. You know, very informative. A lot of informative information there. Al Heyman has the, uh, the authority over anything they do in the square circle. Anything they do in the square circle, Al Heyman has authority over. So they can't do nothing without Al Heyman's John Hancock. But to make this fight pay per view, bro, just let you know they in financial crisis. I think we knew that when we seen Charles Martin, Luis Ortiz. We think we seen that when they start throwing Keith Thurman and Barrios on pay per view and Earl Spence prematurely on pay per view. That's why nobody buying that crap. I talked to him, well, he said, well, I'm going to go support Wilder. Man, I ain't supporting shit they got going on until Crawford and Spence fight this year. Then I would start supporting that shit. But I didn't went to the movies and went to go see that joke, that type of stuff. And I ain't buying, I ain't about to buy him and Robert Lanius. I ain't no fucking fool. I might think about going. Because I'm going to get a ticket cheaper than the fucking pay-per-view. I think about going, to be honest. You know, my pay-per-view bill, how the hell, how, I mean, cable bill high enough. I'm about to turn eight. I'm about to turn my cable power out and just keep the internet. I don't think about switching to Verizon. Real talk. I'm definitely going to see what YouTube TV hitting for. You know? So, you know, like, like I said before, man, it, it is what it is. It is what it is, man. And, um, them throwing it on pay-per-view, he gonna get his 20 million minimum. Alani is gonna get a bag he probably ain't touched before, and it's good for all parties involved. But that's gonna flop. You know it, I know it, we know it, he know it, she know it. That joint gonna flop. That joint gonna flop. That shit gonna go triple triple wood. Mark my words, that shit gonna triple wood. Hey man, it's going single wood. Let me not disres disrespect triple wood. Ain't nobody buying that crap. Nobody. Because if, if black people supported black black boxers and shit, man, all Earl Spence pay per views, water pay per views would be through the roof. Even before Tyson Fury. And they'd be making Spencer Crawford. I'm telling you that right now, that shit'd be through the roof. That shit will be through the roof. Come on. I, man, like I said before, I ain't in, man. Money money is tight, man. The recession, man, you know, a lot, a lot of people don't know it's here. I talked to the FedEx guy the other day, and he was saying that the recession was here. He said it's really hitting them hard now. You know? And like I continue to say, bro, that shit real. You know, that's, it's really real out here. So, like I said before, man, you always got to juggle multiple incomes. It's hard. Sometimes it's hard, man. It's hard to get started. I'm not going to lie. But once you got to get started, understand, man, whatever you old, you know, like my boy Kashan say from uh, Memphis, rapper, actor, I'm so crispy. Um, he said one, one, in, one, in, one income is too close to none. One hustle is too close to none. He ain't lying about that. You gotta be a juggler out here, and it's about to, it's about to get real out here. But the great thing about it is, it's great jobs and opportunities out here, and they paying great money. Shit, Wendy's and McDonald's paying like a dub an hour. So it's great opportunity out here for sure. But you know, like I like I was uh, forget they what they name Earn and Leisure. I forget the name of their podcast name. I didn't went the wrong way. Uh oh. Trying to get no tickets out here at uh, Killer Nigga Assville. Trust me. They got all this shit blocked off. I'm about to drive.
drive up on the grass. They will. Where I'm at right now, they will kill a nigga. Yeah. I can't get out of here. Fuck. And if I drive on the grass, I'm going to look very ignorant. But you know what? I don't want to back up. Because I didn't mean to turn over in this motherfucker. But I did it. Hope, hope the pigs ain't around. I ain't got no, I ain't got no police friends over here. <laughs> but nonetheless, you know, like I said before, man, money too tight, bro. I ain't got money to blow. The little money, I, the little money I do blow, it'll be, it'll be blown on on things that that I need. If it's entertainment, going to the movies, you know, shit like that. I ain't man. Alright, man, bro, it's it's, it's, it's it's too real in the field out here. It's too real. Too real. And ain't no offense to Wilder, though, but dog, I ain't buying any old and every, any old thing. But that's just my opinion on that. Now, if you want to go buy it, I'm not going to tell you to boycott Deontay Wilder or boycott PBC over Deontay Wilder. That ain't my, that ain't in my MO. But they ain't, they ain't, man, they throwing bulls, man. They can tell they going out of business. And I'm loving every minute of it. We'll push your T roll. I'm loving it. <laughs> he ain't lying. I'm loving it, bro. So it is what it is, man. But uh, but yeah, it's a no buy for me. I think about going, but I doubt it, bro. Cause Wilder and Crawford ain't. I mean, Crawford and Spence ain't happening, bro. I'm pretty much over. I'm pretty much over supporting PBC, dude. And they don't be. They ain't making no fights that I'm interested in going to. So it, it'll just. If I did go, it'll just be a quick. It'll be going to New York. Shopping, getting some shit, eating a little bit, and get out of there. So that'd be what it was, and it'd be off the strength for that and Deontay Wilder. But appreciate y'all. Thumbs up the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel, and the subscribe button, it's the bell icon button. Hit all notifications, increase your chance of notifications. We go live drop video. Financially, you want to support the channel? Cash up, dollar sign, CJ Good 313, Venmo, CJ Good 313, PayPal link in the description. Uh, hit the link tree, find me on Twitch, Twitter, Instagram, Spotify, Anchor, Cash App, Venmo, PayPal. Uh, Spotify, Apple Podcasts, just look in there. It's the first link in the description. Appreciate y'all. The best way y'all could donate. Support me on the podcast. A couple ads on there. I hope, thanks for you guys for getting me a thousand uh, spins on the podcast, man. So however you want to listen, for the most part, I'm an I, I heart radio. I'm going to try to get on that as soon as possible. Appreciate y'all for getting me to a thousand. Appreciate y'all for helping me monetize over on there. So just keep supporting and listening. Peace.